Next tonight, he was the Jamaican singer-songwriter who became both a musical and cultural icon. One Love, one of the late Bob Marley's most famous songs, a video for which was filmed around Chelsea, where the singer lived in 1977. Well, now a house just off the King's Road, which was home to the reggae legend and his band, The Wailers, is to receive a blue plaque from English Heritage, a testament to his talent and the impact his music still has. Well, my guest tonight had a unique insight into Bob Marley's life during that time through the lens of his camera photographer, Dennis Morris. Joins me now, Dennis, thank you so much for coming in to talk to me. Thank you for having me. Um, you were just a teenager when you yeah. started taking photos of Bob Marley. When you're answering me the first question, I'm going to show a picture that you have taken of Bob Marley. Here we go, at his Chelsea house, I believe, yeah. the one that's going to yeah. be getting a blue plaque. How, how did you come to becoming his, his, one of his photographers? Uh, basically, it was purely by chance, really. I mean, I, when I was at school, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. Mm. And um, I'd read in music papers that he was coming over to do his first yeah. tour. So I bunked off school and went down to the, um, to the club and waited. Don't encourage that, kids. No. <laughs> and eventually he turned up and I asked if I could take his picture. He said, yeah, man, come in. Oh, wow. And he sort of really took to me and uh, said to me, you know, if I wanted to come along on a tour, and I did. Well, know. let's see the next photo, because I believe this is this in the back of the tour bus here. This was uh, one, yeah. a tour of London. That's right. What was it like being on the road with Bob Marley? At such a young age as well. It was hectic and there was like uh, one of the things that happened was um, it was in the winter and basically was um, it started snowing after mm. a few days and they woke up and they wanted to play football and um, I think Peter Tosh and Bunny Wales said, said what, oh, what are And I said, it, it's <laughs> snow. So what do you mean snow? I said, you know, snow. And they said, oh, it's a sign from Ja, we have to leave Babylon and they, they, the tour collapsed and it went back because uh, oh. they, they just couldn't handle the weather, you know. That's me. They wouldn't have liked the Beast from the East last year, no. would they? <laughs> um, let's look at the next picture now. Now, this is a performance shot. Tell me, now tell me where this was. This that was a very uh, famous at venue. the uh, Lyceum, mm. uh, which is the infamous show. That was just the, the show, the gig that made him. And realistically, Bob had come back into England um, and knew that this show was mm. the show for him. And he performed the show of his, literally, mm. from that show, everything just changed for him. Um, let's look at the last photo that we have, one of yours, which is lovely. It's such a candid shot there of him. Yeah. I mean, he's getting this blue plaque now on the house where he lived in Chelsea. Yeah. But, you know, you were with him. You took photos from 1973 to 81 when he died, didn't you? That's so right. what, what's your most enduring memory, I suppose, of Bob Marley? How will you remember him? He was just such a humble man. He, he was a, a caring man, mm. a very, very generous man, and he really had a message. Mm. He truly was a prophet. Yeah. And he changed Jamaica and he changed the concept of, of people, lives. I mean, for me, he made me what I am today, really. You know, yeah. He gave me a lot of confidence in myself. He gave you yeah. some amazing photos as well. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing them with Thank us you. on the programme tonight, Dennis Morris. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.